you know, it's, it's really pathetic to keep hearing right-wingers talk about freedom all the time. Uh, it, it's something they, they constantly talk about without any of the loaded context it entails. Like, it, it, it's, it's always summoned uh, in discourse and in their arguments uh, and, you know, their victim complex. But what is some of the, the, the unspoken parts about freedom? Some of the unspoken parts, some of the fine print that they, that they're implying in the subtext of their arguments is about exploitation, the freedom to exploit other people for the sake of capital. That's a large section of the subtext on the word freedom in their rhetoric. And they say, oh, government is stifling my freedom. You're trying to take away my freedom to exploit people for my own gain. Once again, they don't say that part. That is buried beneath their argument. And if you're just like a wage worker and touting freedom from government, you're an idiot. You're just stupid. You're a useful idiot for the business owners and would-be entrepreneurs who want to exploit the American worker for their own personal gain. So please, stop doing that. Have some self-reflection. There are more bootlickers than there are like these, you know, business owners. It's really sad and pathetic. But right-wing, listen, right-wing rhetoric, right-wing propaganda is so potent and it's monetarily backed by right-wing billionaires uh, like the Ben Shapiro's of the world, the Steven Crowder's of the world, like like the world's like just top tier, disingenuous uh, libertarian, uh, you know, the libertarian front is well funded. So the rhetoric is just pounded into the daily conversation. So I mean, I, I, these results aren't shocking, right? It's not hard to dupe people. Like if you live in America, I mean, we live. Wow, we live among some really dumb people. And just it's not even their fault. It's not even their fault. We're just an undereducated society. And that's strategic. So so those same people who tout freedom can keep taking all the money, all the value, all the equity from everyday Americans. So that that's that's strategic. Whether you're a Democrat, whether you're a Republican, an independent, it doesn't matter. The, the system is geared towards only getting a few people educated and the people that they want educated. That's it. It's not for the broader public. And that is strategic. But anyways, I digress. Whenever in conversation with a right winger who keeps espousing freedom, call them out on the subtext. Ask them what they're talking about there when they talk about freedom. Because if they're an entrepreneur or a business owner, especially, they're talking about the freedom to exploit people, okay? Just like America's slave masters did, okay? I mean, that ethos is, is buried in the soul of America. The, 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 we started with the worst form of exploitation in our lifetimes or in a thousand lifetimes. It, and it's still alive today. And it's all nonsense. Um, it's all about freedom from being regulated. And it's like, we got to watch government carefully. I'm not some government bootlicker anyway. Like, we have to be vigilant with our government that they're not having too much power over us too. There has to be a balance. 
but we can start by figuring out what they what they mean when they say the word freedom. Freedom to exploit. That's it.